6.43 here on Morning Barbados, and as we told you, we're visiting our festival corner here on in the middle of our crop over season, and if you probably can't see it right about now, but our studio is now filled with bright, happy, shining faces. All of them have one thing in common. They're going head-to-head -head for our Junior Monarch Finals. There they are. Wave and say good morning. There you go, and somewhere in there in resplendent green is uh, <laughs> the godfather of the Junior Calypso <laughs> Monarch competition, Wayne Punka Willock. So Colin, we have a lot of interviews to get through in obs absolutely no time. I thought you were going to call him by your special name for him. No, no, that's for off camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so morning. Morning everybody. Everybody ready? Only don't look ready. Everybody ready? Yeah, yeah there all we right, go. Alright, so Wayne. You give us the official word now. What's up? Well, the official word is that um, we have here with us seven of the finalists for our Junior Calypso Monarch competition, which will take place on July the 23rd, coming up very soon as the day, the day after my birthday. I don't know if you want to have it. <laughs> don't worry. We've got your show house sorted. You've got me? Okay. Got you sorted right. out. Right. Um, here we have, for introduction purposes, we have Carrie and we have Moesha and we have Rikan and Trevon and Jazz and Adonis and Renan. And then we have Kadeh, Ashley, Aisha, Sam, Deja, AC, and Barbie. Barbie. Top ranking Very people nice. who the um, bigger tents would have some problems competing with. I feel so too. Who's the youngest? This young man here, he's eight. Oy. Fantastic performer. So he has ten more years, ten more years to win eight. this thing. Just look at uh, you know, and He's so quiet and calm. You know, when you see him on stage, it's a totally different picture. Let's talk Most of them bit. actually are quite quiet over here, but when you see them performing, um, it's phenomenal. Well, let's hear his voice. Let's talk to him a little bit. Uh, Good morning. You want, you want, hey, there you go. Look, there's you a, mic there. microphone Give me a microphone. You should be used to microphones now, though. Yeah. Morning. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Good. So tell me about your performance and your song and everything that goes into it. What is the name Start of with the song. song. Yeah, my song is My Dream. Uh. And what is your dream? My dream is when I'm sleeping. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good answer. That's it's a very a good answer. Eight o'clock, I mean, seven o'clock in the morning, you don't want to be talking about your dream. You want to be dreaming, especially when school is on vacation. I know, I know. But, you know, like you said, it is not so much the talking that is going to be the thing. It's going to be the performances on the finals. How have the practice been going with you? Uh, quite, quite good, you know. Um, we preparing next for the lunchtime concert at Frank Cullimore Hall on Wednesday the 20th. Uh, and that's... Um, Specially invited guests and um, some tickets will be available, a limited number. Um, so if persons want to see that performance, they would need to go to the NCF and check in and make sure they get a ticket very early. But we usually invite um, special groups of kids in camps and elderly people who may not be able to get out normally and see these wonderful kids perform. And so um, after that, it's the big day, the big evening. And um, what I would like them to know very early is that regardless of what happens, they are all winners. Because we started with like 44 people, and now we are down to this group, and therefore they should know uh, that from the time you get into the finals, you are a winner. It doesn't matter what happens in terms of, you know, the, the You one, skim two, the three, cream four, off five. the top there. Yeah, yeah. And some of them have actually won before, right? Yes, we have... Um, um, we have a AC as a winner for sure. Um, um, well, if you have been a winner, just stick your hand up and wave. Yeah. Make it easy for Wayne. There you go. There you go. Maybe you can pass the microphone. Oh, he came second. He was like me. He was nearly a winner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's a winner and that, nearly a winner. Yeah, that happens. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Well, let's hear some more from the competitors. Um, um, the lady who's sitting next to Barbie, who is herself a winner. Okay. Let's pass the microphone back. Introduce yourself and your song. How are you feeling about your chances? Good morning, my name is Anita, my stage name is AC, and my song is called H-E-L-P, which stands for Heaven's Elected Labor Party. Well, I think I stand a very good chance because this song, I'm not only singing it, but it's very personal to me. And I decided, well, because before, Crystal Cummings-Beckles, 
she always asks before we sing, what you want to sing about? I say, well, I don't want to sing about war. I don't want to sing about AIDS, nothing like that. And I happened to come across the letter from the Prime Minister the year I won when I sang at his party. And I said, I would really like to do a tribute to Thompson, but how? And something in my brain keeps saying HLP. I said, HLP? Heaven's Labor Party. Then Chris was like, why not HELP? And they said, yeah. They said, yeah, I definitely. I'm going to tell you right now, I love everybody, but this film is going to be trouble. <laughs> Watch it. You heard it here That's first, right people. Spirit. That's yeah, the right spirit. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But that brings up something that we discussed even before, the, the, the fact that sometimes we, we talk about the topics that they sing about. And it's interesting to hear her say that they're usually consulting on what they want to sing about. That's, yeah. that's part yeah, of it. That I always believe that that's the correct route. Um, because when you sing the song, then you are convicted about what you're talking about. You're not just, like, just spilling off lyrics, right, yeah. somebody else's thoughts that you're not involved in. So um, it, it doesn't always work out that way, but that is definitely the better way to go, that your input is there, and then you get somebody to help you um, write your song and so on. Oh, so who else you want to talk to, Jazz? Well, yeah, Jazz. Come, Jazz. You know, jazz is um, part of a musical family, <laughs> are you not? Yes, I There's am. a mile somewhere in there, isn't there? <laughs> yes. Yeah, but we don't want to talk about him this morning. Tell me about your song, your chances, how you're feeling, how, how have your family been helping you prepare? My family has helped me prepare by dressing, and I think the song is great, and it could go further with the song, like winning a crown. For the first year, because last year I came second, so I um, do the same thing since my brother isn't here, and see if I win. <laughs> What's his song about? <laughs> How to win a crown. You can imagine what dinner at the house is like. <laughs> What's fascinating to me is that he has a style consultant. Hello. His, his parents, but that's that's true too. He has a style consultant. We want to start from the back and kind of make our way down because, you know, after AC throw down that gauntlet and say, you know yeah, what, yeah. this is going to be wicked. But so, before we do that, before we, you know, pass the microphone back, we're going to take a break and come back. So by the time we come back, we start with uh, Bobby and then make our way down. And go right to ground. Yeah, we okay. want to get the response to this challenge from the AC. She can't be allowed to just we'll say that right and leave back. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back, and we're with the finalists in the Junior Calypso Monarch competition. It comes off on the 23rd, begins at 8 o'clock. We've already heard from a couple of them, so we're going to try and get in the rest of them. We're going to start with Bobby at the back. Bobby, tell us a little bit about you and what you sing. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Zahira Bass. My song is entitled Sending an SOS, and it's basically about me asking God to forgive us for all the wrong and like the terror, destruction, and the war. All right, that sounds good. Nice and positive. Yes, indeed. Hello, good morning. My name is Khadija Mosley, stage name Deja. Um, my song is called Respect Your Mother. Um, my song is basically, a, well, basically appealing to younger people, or more to say, even older people too, to respect their mothers. Um, I believe that AC got a fight with me. Don't make sure <laughs> Wow, that. that's She's what we're looking friend, for. <laughs> It comes yeah, yeah. down to the battle of the finest. All, All right, right. move on, on move on. Your mother must be proud. <laughs> Go on. Hi, my name is Kadi, and my song is entitled Give Me Time to Grow. It's basically telling the young people, the older people, to give the young people time to grow and stop putting them into bigger people's stuff. Ah, indeed. Let's move quicker, though. Quicker, quicker. Good morning. My name is Ashley Green, stage name Queen Ashley. The name of my song is Let Me Out. It speaks about a young girl who lives in regret who regrets all these things that she did in the past, who's willing to change, asking the society to let her out from these different things, and asking for one more day just to have this change. That is nice and positive. Interesting and heavy too. Good morning, my name is Aisha Butcher. My stage name is Mandisa, and the name of my song is The Apple Next to the Tree. Uh, my song is about double standards, where a parent growing up, doing these things that her child is watching and then when her child now doing the same things wants to look down on her and she's saying that that cannot work. Apple next to the tree. Interesting topics and interesting subjects. Go on. Come on. My name is Samantha Grace. Stage name Sammy G. Goes to the Aline School. Uh-huh. And, my, <laughs> that and there. my song is called Protect Yourself. It is about the young pe people to old age having unprotected sex all the time and and always wrecking the self. So I'm saying it in a song, telling them to protect the self. All right, pass that mic to him, Jazz. 
There you go. Good morning. My name is Terry Linton. Stage name Adonis. My song is called Rocking Calypso. It's about a new dance. It's about having fun. Very nice. I see the guy in front with the resplendent turquoise. Go ahead. Good morning. My name is Travon Calendar. My song is entitled I Clean Them. You cleaning? Yes. Go ahead. My song is really about like children dirtying up the place while I'm a parent cleaning after them. Are you cleaning after them? after them? Yeah. A universal Your mother concept. would identify with that. I'm sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, my name is Raquel Bradford and my stage name is Candy Princess. My song is about I Ain't Leaving. The song is basically about the foreign countries doing bad things and they're forgetting what the good that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that I, that I love them, though don't love you. Mm -hmm. They don't deserve you. They don't need you. All right, thank you very much. Let's hear Good morning. My name is Moshe Elder. My stage name is Mighty Princess. Mighty. And the name of my school is Hillskin Primary School. And the name of the song is School. Yes, big up that school in there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Carrie Linguizette. My stage name is Carrie G. My song is called Sing My Song. And it's about how the city schools are treated better than the country schools. Aye. I think I heard that on the radio. Yeah. I think. Was being unfair. Yes, I heard that song. Bailey is being unfair. We have and two not to be left out. Two who have joined us. Good morning. What's your name and your song? Well, be a clap. The name of my song is Don't Panic. Well, clearly she no, that's panic. right there to the point. Let's hear from the lady next to you then. Good morning. My name is La Az. The name of my song is The Longest Day Has to End. Definitely. So, everybody now, what should everybody do on June 23rd? Exactly. That's it. That's the it. Juniors at the gymnasium. Good place to be. What time? Um, um, that should be 8 o'clock. Notice it's, I think it's a Saturday this time. Um, it's actually it's the day after the, the semifinals of the Pick of the Crop. So usually at the juniors, I've never been, so I'm asking, are there like school groups or are there support for each place? No, well, the support it? is... Oh, it's right it's across. island wide, yeah, you know. Okay. Uh, but of course, they they have their schools mm -hmm. coming in. Uh, we have three people here from Alin School, oh, okay. um, and they're doing well. Barbie, I am um, Lisa, and um, Sammy are uh, Alin School. But we want to make sure we thank the NCF for the efforts that they do every year with the youngsters and and the support they get from Scotia Bank, and of course um, this year um, IGM Stage Lighting. All right, well, ladies, gentlemen. Bring it on the 23rd. We are looking sure. forward to yeah, it. Definitely. Hoping to see some of you continue, you know, right on into the... By the way, anybody here think they could make it into the national finals this year, if you were judged? Anybody? <laughs> they all Just right. Sammy G. Of course, of course we could have made that, man. Anyway, all the best to you, and enjoy it while you do it. Because Thanks we... for having us this morning. Yeah, man, any time, any time at all, and we're hoping to make it to that show. In fact, I think I should take my son to that show. Yes, so he get an have him sing next. Yes, yeah, well. Is he whining already?